stop the stimulus. Why we shouldn't have another stimulus check. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Every time you hear me say the word stimulus, what I want you to be thinking is the word sedative. Because when it comes to the real economy in our country, stimulus seriously harms it. The Main Street economists, you know, the, the ones running the Fed, the ones advising our new president, teaching students in universities, and inexplicably winning the Nobel Prize in economics, they believe in what's called the government spending multiplier effect, sometimes called the Keynesian multiplier. Now, don't leave, please. This is a short video. I want you to understand. Don't go. So what is this multiplier effect? It's when the government spends money by sending money to you and me, households, like subsidizing health care or housing, or even paying out interest to those silly enough to hold treasury securities. It's all that. When the government does this, they believe that it will somehow magically lead to a stronger economy through consumer spending, which means more profits for businesses. And then those businesses can invest more capital. They can hire more people. They can give their employees higher wages. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's the belief that when government hands out the cash, it multiplies economic output more than would happen if they hadn't done it. Don't believe it. It's wrong. This glorious cycle is a myth. What this idea gets wrong is all about that last uh, clause in the previous sentence I said. More than would happen if they hadn't done it. Guys, that money has to come from somewhere. In fact, it can only come from two potential places. The first is taxation. The second is private savings. You see, either it gets taxed from the income or wealth of productive individuals and businesses, or the savings of the private economy are used to buy government debt. Proponents of the government spending multiplier effect theory hate to address the opportunity cost of government spending. That is, they, they, they point to the beneficial effects without thinking about what would happen if they just stopped doing it and let us keep more of our wealth. How would we spend it? Would we, would we spend it in an even more economically beneficial way, especially without all the waste and the corruption and bureaucracy that government brings? During the Great Depression, economist John Maynard Keynes famously suggested that the government should spend money on anything, even if it was unproductive. Just get the money into the hands of the consumers. That's it. The, uh, the classic uh, analogy was, you know, you'd, you'd pay workers to dig a ditch. And if that didn't provide enough economic stimulus, well, then just pay them to refill the ditch. It will all boost GDP and raise our standard of living. Well, at least that's the thought, right? And it's wrong. Over the last half century, that theory has not been borne out by the data. Instead, government spending has resulted in increasingly less economic success and well-being. Guys, gals, government stimulus doesn't work. Sure, it gives people a short-term monetary shot in the arm, but it destroys the very medication in the economic syringe. All right, I know what you must be thinking right now, or at least some of you, and I, I'm, I'm probably going to hear it in the comments below, and that's fine. And it's like, Yankee, how could you be so heartless? What about the poor? Come on. What about the less fortunate than you? They don't, you know, maybe they don't have a job. They can't make ends meet. They're struggling. Maybe they're starving. What's wrong with you, Yankee? You cruel person. You. The first thing I can say is my heart goes out to my fellow Americans that are struggling right now. I know some personally. Charity is so important. 
in our society. We are the most giving nation on the planet historically. But if the government doesn't stop this wealth redistribution craziness, we're all toast. All of us. Charity will go right out the window because there won't be anybody to give anything to anyone else. See, handouts and hand ups should be given by private citizens and private companies. You know, I know I would buy products and services from companies and organizations that support and help others. Actually, actually regularly do that. And I bet you would too. And I would say that the solution can never be to look to politicians. No, that's a, a dead end street. We need to look to free market capitalism. You've heard me say it before, and it's true. Free markets, those that will work hard, take risk, and grow the economy the old-fashioned way are the ones that are going to get us out of this mess. We need to retool our economic engine that's sputtering and almost dead. We need to reduce regulations. We need to cut government spending. We need to reduce the tax burden on people. We need to return to sound money. We need to bring back our manufacturing sector. You know, that last one will take decades, but it's doable. We need to get on it. Now, I know it's not politically popular to stop doling out currency. It's clear when you look at both sides of the aisle, they're trying to outspend each other. They're trying to come up with new ways to inject more money into our wallets. One day, I'm sure they're going to try digital wallet injections. It's not going to work. We need to stop the stimulus. Let me know what you think about my little rant here in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If this resonates with you and you think others could maybe learn something from this, please share this video with as many people as you can. I really appreciate it. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.